we just got a centre of the middle. Um, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of wave in and start with what she see me. No, I think she's just been sent the email. So. And it's about 30 seconds a day, so if she opens it up, she might be listening to it now. I think so, yeah, it should be a okay. There's a microphone on it, so project, you have to project your voice as loud as possible. <laughs>
Good afternoon everybody, hope you're all enjoying yourself. Um, by the way, my name is Tony Whitchurch, I'm the father of the bride. Okay? <laughs> if you don't know me, then uh, please come up to me afterwards and uh, we'll have a chat and everything else like that. I'm, although I look quite uh, aggressive, uh, believe me, I'm as soft as a Okay? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just the uh, warm-up <coughs> warm act. Uh, I'm not top of the bill, I'm only paying for it. <laughs> anyway, welcome and thank you for coming on this lovely day. <laughs> Shame about the weather, but it's all in our part today. Um, firstly, I would like to formally welcome Chris and his family to our town. He has been part of our lives for some time now, and uh, we've really got to know him over the last... Uh, six months to a year, uh, and I think he's uh, mellowing in quite well, he's, uh, he's a good lad, and uh, it'd be the most, uh, I don't know who's the way here, but uh, anyway, but with all the five family, don't worry about it, uh, we get there, but uh, anyway, it's lovely to see all the five family, uh, it's a big clan, you know, and uh, it's lovely to see you all here. Um, we've got Dave over there, look up Dave. Um, Altered the dress and dressed her today, and uh, Amy looks absolutely beautiful today. So, uh, hi, Kath. Oh, look, there she is over there. Look. Yeah. Hi, hi. But she looks absolutely beautiful, and uh, without that, it's not going to be good. And also uh, to uh, Vicky and Sam for uh, being there for Amy in a difficult time. Uh, so, so it's too much, I might start, I feel like that as well, to be quite honest, but there you are. Um, we certainly uh, to enjoy ourselves and have fun and laughter. That's her uh, instructions, alright? But yeah, it will be. Uh, um, anyway, to lighter things now, um, our daughter, Amy, with a huge smile. And I always told her that uh, the best form of makeup is a smile. All through her years and teenage years, you know what they're like when they're bloody teenagers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, she has continued that smile for the last 20 years. And uh, with Evie coming along now, it is a reminder to both of us of how Brenda and myself looking after our little girl. And it's a testimony to Amy's beautiful, calm, nurturing and caring temperament. She does light up the room and I'm sure she's lighting up the room today. Yeah, let's have a round of applause there. <laughs> I think I better move on a bit quick, the kids are getting restless. Okay, um, okay, sorry. Yeah, we're getting back, sorry. That's alright, it doesn't matter. He's not annoying me. Right then, I must warn you though, Chris. Amy's not the best over the bridge like that, and it was about 15, it seemed like 15 foot, but it was probably not that far. Uh, it was resting on a parapet halfway down, and it was like, sort of like going like that in the breeze. I thought, oh God, here we go. And I sort of looked around, isn't there any heroes about? And I thought, oh no, this is down to me. And uh, so I climbed over the parapet of this bridge. By this time, there was this big crowd starting to gather. I thought, oh God, here we go. So I clambered down this bridge, <laughs> and grabbed the purse. 
back up. And then most of them thought I was bloody trying to commit suicide. That was the only thing. And to be quite honest, I thought I was committing suicide. And then, um, grabbed the purse, got up over the parapet, and they all gave me a round of applause. So uh, that was uh, nice. But uh, I, I laid in the Amy a little bit, but I'm sorry about that. Sorry? Oh, I'm going to tell you that, but don't worry. I got it. That's my job to embarrass her a little bit. Anyway, um, I don't want to go on too long, but uh, you're going to listen. Uh, um, on Thursday, uh, uh, it was Amy's birthday. Um, mine on uh, Tuesday. So, and uh, it's uh, the wedding, and then it's Chris's on Monday, and it's Lance's next Saturday. So we all went out, all of us, and Anne Evie, was, she's getting up for six months, so we've all got birthdays to celebrate and everything else like that. And uh, we uh, went, just went down the local uh, apple tree and everything else like that. But I sort of took a step back and I thought, oh, isn't that nice? They're all turning into mature adults. It's not at 18, it's not at 21, it's just a little bit further on, but it was a lovely evening. And I think that's a nice testimony for them all, really. It was a lovely evening. Uh, but uh, I'm sure um, that Chris will, and Amy will now develop into a, a lovely, caring mother. But we are very proud of her. Um, she's a uh, you know, nursery nurse. As you can see, she's just got the gift to be a nursery nurse with Evie and everything else like that. And then she had a career... Uh, change and then uh, and business studies and things like that, hoping that she'll be on the manager and money. But there you are. Anyway, I've done enough. What I want you to do now is uh, please be upstanding. That's you a lot as well. She don't want to get up. She's like that. She don't get up in the mornings either. You wear a dress. It's all right. But anyway, to Chris and Amy. Yeah. Right. I've done my little bit now, and uh, it's over now to uh, Chris. I'm not a prepared as Tony, I'm now to British speech. I've just got bullet points. Let me remember this as well, but hard about it, hard about it. Right. First, I'd like to say how beautiful my lovely wife is. You are the love of my life. I could not imagine life without you. And there's many more days to think about with each other. And secondly, I would like to say thank you very much to Brenda and Tony for making this lovely day happen and for welcoming me into your family so much. I feel very welcome. Daddy. We're really, really welcome in the back. And, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. You're beautiful people. Real beautiful. And thirdly, I would like to thank the bridesmaids. My lovely sister. Cousin, the little ones that are running around. Thank you very much. You look stunning today. And I might be nervous, but my best man's even more nervous. So give back the win. Well, I just touched up on what Tony said. Doesn't the boy look beautiful today, ladies and gentlemen? Well, that's grown up too bad either, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a reverend father. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If there is anybody here who's being nervous and worried, remember me or you just married Christopher Crowe. I read somewhere that a best man's speech shouldn't take any longer than it takes the groom to make up in the church. <laughs> However, I've tried to make my speech today like a miniskirt, long enough to cover the essentials, but short enough to hold your attention. To be asked to be best man for, so like being asked to sleep with the Queen, it's a great honour, but you don't really want to do it. <laughs> Some people say marriage is a maiden in heaven, 
So it's fun to like it. I thought I'd just let two people become one. Trouble starts when they try to decide which one. <laughs> people say marriage is grand, but divorce is about 100, so stay married. <laughs> None of that monsters matter, because they and Fur are so right for each other. Two peas in a pot. And you can tell that they really do have something special. I've known Fur more than half my life now. I remember the first time we met. I thought he was a right mob. <laughs> <laughs> then I got to know him, found out that he was, in fact, a mob. <laughs> Me and my mate were going to beat him up, but I'm so glad that we didn't, as he turned out to be my best friend. I threw up myself and joined at the hip when we were younger, inseparable. And we shared everything sweets, drinks, cigarettes, baths, girls, not Amy. <laughs> we even shared a pair of shoes at one point. <laughs> one time when we were kids, we went to play down by a little river on the road street. I shouldn't have been out this day, as I was very unwell suffering with diarrhea. Whilst out playing, I accidentally saw myself. And I was in a right. And all my other mates just stood there and laughed at me. But not fair, he seemed to jump at a chance to touch another boy's ass. <laughs> but in all seriousness, he grabbed some leaves and he cleaned me up. Sing it now. It was from that moment on, I realised that fur is much more than a friend to me, he is my brother. I feel truly honoured to stand in today as the best man. Especially as he just married such an amazing woman. I really yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to 